Hey guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and do you have a weak, floaty, whippy slice? If you do, you're gonna really love today's tip because I'm gonna teach you how to have a rock hard, solid slice. We'll be back and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, so before we get into today's tip, I actually have a confession to make. I hate the word slice. Even though one of my favorite things to do is a slice serve and a slice backhand. They're, they're some of my best shots. But too many people out there, they get carried away with that word slice and they're trying to slice the ball. They're trying to put a lot of action on the ball and that can be absolutely destroy your backhand slice because the result is you get floaty, floppy, wimpy slices. This kind of hover up there in the air. I'm sure you've done it. We've all hit them. I even still hit them from time to time. So we all hit them where it's kind of like they have nothing on it where when you watch the pros play, they got a nice, strong bite through the court. That thing is hit like it's on a rope. It, it, it hits the ground and then powers through and stays low, and it's really tough to deal with. So that's the kind of slice we want to learn how to hit today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And the big key is, is you want to think of your slice like a solid backhand volley, because that's really all it is, is just the further you move back, the more you bring that racket back. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, we'll take a look at me at the net hitting some backhand volleys and I'm gonna show you how that's gonna transition to a really solid slice ball. So guys, as I'm hitting these volleys, I'm trying to be solid, hit that ball as square on as I can, and you can see that this is a really nice setup to think about hitting a slice. So as I back up, Slice it. You don't want to slice it. You want to power through. Power through. Whoops. Power through. So guys, some, so, so to wrap up there, the slice to me is maybe the most under misunderstood shot in the game, and most people want to slice the ball. Don't, don't think about that. Think about that solid contact, and just the more you move back to get a little more pace, you got to bring the backswing back a little bit. But try and think about hitting a nice solid volley, and you'll be on your way to a great slice shot. If you want to be even a little closer towards hitting a great slice shot, what I got here is a, a free three-step progress. I like to call them three X's. I just think it sounds like really tough. You got a three X slice progression drill. That's going to take you from the beginning to the end, getting the right grips, the right racket head position, contact and follow through. So if you like that, all you have to do is click this right here and you'll get instant access. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this video so you can see all my videos.